Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Scheibel. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us. Communities in Polk County, of course, all night long, a little longer than the rest of us, feeling the wrath of Hurricane Ian. The cleanup and repairs are just beginning as some families who evacuated for the storm ret return home and see what damage is left behind. Justin Shecker, he is live from a mobile home park in the Peace River area in Bartow. Tell us more, Justin. What are you seeing today? Keith and Stacy, good afternoon to you both. When Eight on Your Side visited this mobile home park before the hurricane, residents told us they were very concerned about the flooding from the nearby Peace River. Uh, take a look behind me and check out what is left of this white fence. It appears in strong wind gusts caused most of the damage here. We came back home today and we found out we had no roof. The powerful winds from Hurricane Ian ripped off the metal roofing on Jose Hernandez's home. So now there are multiple leaks. Everything's getting wet inside, but we don't have no other place to stay, so we have to stay here. While there is some flooding after the storm at the Peace River Village in Bartow, several of the mobile homes sustained serious wind damage. She's real lucky. A lot of people lost more than she did. Luis Rojana and his family are helping clean up his grandmother's home. Any damage? Yes, the carport it flew out and a couple other stuff here. Yeah. How is your grandma doing today? She's doing good. We have her in, in her son's house. With four children, including one who is disabled, Hernandez says his family needs help after this destruction from Ian. What do you make of all this? I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. But we have to keep living and move forward. And back out here live in Bart, I want to show you one more example of the damage caused by Ian's strong winds in this mobile park. Mobile park, excuse me. Look at this utility pole that snapped in half. The broken part landed right behind me here on the front lawn of the Hernandez home. Reporting live in Polk County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.